In today's episode, Dad yells out character names. It's Baymax! Goofy! Groot! Says something we're not even sure he's allowed to. Some Mickey Cootie. Cootie? Cootie Cutters? That's the. Woo, gonna have to edit that out. And what did he just say about Baby Yoda? But who doesn't want to wake up to Baby Yoda in their mug? Or on their mug? Baby Yoda. Ooh. Who got this? Dad got this. Heading to the Passholder Magnet Delivery section. It's probably not called that, but I just named it that. And uh, it's on the side when you come in, you go past the new mouse gear on your left, and then you go over to where, I think this is the Guardians of the Galaxy new roller coaster over here, and you get your Passholder. This year it's like a uh, purpley painting looking one. I'll show you it in a little bit. Line doesn't look too bad, so let's go. Rock the get Groot! We are inside the temporary mouse gear, which is still a decent size, but nothing compared to the old mouse gear. And we got our pass holder magnet. It's this purple, like artist painted looking one. I like this one. I call it purpley. It's not a word. The wife calls me on it, but it's purpley, dang it. So we're gonna shop here in mouse gear for a little bit. I'll show you anything I see cool and notable. And then we gotta go hit the uh, festival of the arts. Baby Yoda has invaded mouse gear. So we have an iPhone 11 Baby Yoda case. Some Baby Yoda socks. And another set of him in his little stroller slidey thing. A Yoda ear hat. It's not a Baby Yoda though. They're trying to sneak it by on us by putting it out here. This is not Baby Yoda, you can tell. This is full Yoda. Baby Yoda t-shirt, $36.99. Okay, look at this, this tumbler. This is an expensive tumbler. This is $38.99. But who doesn't want to wake up to Baby Yoda in their mug? Or on their mug? Baby Yoda, ooh. You don't want to eat Baby Yoda. That guy might have wanted to eat Baby Yoda, but I don't think you do. It's Tervis. It's a nice quality. I love that. We have a long sleeve, The Child. It's not Baby Yoda, according to them. It's The Child. Unknown species. And another Baby Yoda tumbler. He's a little cheaper because he's smaller, $34.99. Some Frozen 2 merch, Snow Globe, $69.99. A whole bunch more of Frozen 2 merch. It's a Baby Yoda spirit jersey. Yes. It says Star Wars The Mandalorian on it. St. Patrick's Day. I love Mushu. Yeah. I don't know, that's not even a Mushu. That has nothing to do with it. Go kill the Huns. I don't know why I'm doing that. We've got these little sequin flip ball things. $29.99. Not very s good for snuggling. Ears, $29.99. Lots of pins. There's a pin really close to this in the outlets the other day for $3.99. Ah, oh, this will be next year's $3.99, $2.99 ornament over at the outlets. This year it's Goofy and Pluto. I guess Christmas is for the dogs. Get it for the dogs. We got some 2020 ears. And they've got 
the blue bow. I gotta get the daughter a snack, hold on. We have some 2020 merch. Plane. A bus. And the hauler. These will make their ways to the outlets. Dude! You need to go subscribe. The dad got this, dude. He's doing a giveaway. A thousand subscribers. You're gonna win some free stuff. Go check it out. I'll put the link in the comments. Dude. Now that thing's wild. $17.99 for the Geoball Spaceship Earth Sippy Cup. Some snow globes. Or I don't know if it's called a snow globe if it doesn't have any snow in it. What do you call it? Let me know in the comments. Be our guest. Be our guest. Mods. Oh, that is awesome. I need that if that ever goes on sale. It's $20 right now. Some Mickey Cootie, Cootie, Cootie Cutters. That's the, ooh, gonna have to edit that out. Cookie Cutters. That is a cute salt and pepper shaker set. Ooh, we just bought a Beauty and the Beast flatware set, but that's Mickey. $70. Let's hope that makes its way to the outlets. No apron. If you're doing a Disney kitchen, they got a lot of stuff for that here. Canister sets, recipe box, and an awesome cake stand. Oh, more Disney kitchen stuff. Ooh, I like that. We got a Mickey flower jar. I really like that. That's kind of cool. $34.99. And they've got some Christmas Starbucks stuff still here and not marked down. Surprised that that's not there in the outlets yet. Lounge flies. Got the rose gold. Mickey and Minnie prints. And these range from like $75 to $90. The sequiny ones are usually $90. Loungefly wallet. Kind of like the one I'm giving away right now, but I have the snack pattern. 50 bucks. And then there is a Mickey one. Also $50. I've got this black and gold lounge fly. And the lounge fly badge is actually black satin, which is pretty cool. Got a mini bow lounge fly. And a, the red lounge fly that we saw over in Hollywood the other day. Couple of ears of this red one, red bow and black polka dot. That is legitimately the biggest bow I've ever seen. That is massive. Hold on. All right, look how freaking huge that is on my gigantic head. On a woman, that's gonna be giant. That's not a moon. One last lounge fly that dad didn't get yet. We are in line at the Joffrey's Coffee Bar getting a giant donut for the kiddo, maybe a drink. We haven't even hit the festival foods yet, but she found the giant pink donut and had to have it. What are you gonna do? We're gonna go with uh, one of these pink giant donuts, please. Special delivery for the kid. These are gonna be needed if I know my child. Say hi to the fans. Say hi fans. You don't care about the fans right now. You care about the donut, right? No. <laughs> we got the iced love struck latte. It's got caramel, mocha, some coconut, but it's not very sweet. So I had to add sugar. 
better. Oh, it's actually good. I was afraid of the coconut, but it's not super coconutty. Which one do you want to do? The gold one? All right. Ah! Ah! <laughs> he put the helmet on you. Hey, did anyone get you your coffee? No. This Nobody got. He said he was gonna do it. At, I didn't say. He said he had it. It's. It, oh. Bye, Daisy. Hopefully, you get your coffee. There's all these new little cut throughs and walk arounds and everything here at Epcot. Everything's different because they're reconfiguring the center section. So now if you make the left by where between mouse gear was, you can actually make a right and cut back through over towards the center section. There's all sorts of weird little cut throughs. There's a cut through by the bathrooms on the right side of Spaceship Earth to get to the land. Princess Jess. Princess Dress. What's up everybody? We are here at the Epcot International Festival of the Arts. Our first day doing this for 2020. I've heard it's all upgraded. The food's better. The events are better. Everything's better. Better, better, better is the theme. And we are here at the Green Landing play area because my daughter found a play area and she wants to play. So we'll play. On the uh, backside of uh, what is the new mouse gear is a little play area. They've got some artificial grass, some little seahorses. Seahorses, those are rocket ships. A jungle gym, all kinds of equipment. Oh, there you go, you got it. So there were these acrobats and they were in the front of the world showcase. And the kiddo was literally just mind blown by it. She stood at the very front of the stage and just watched them. She couldn't get enough. It was, it was kind of funny. She was just, wow. Okay, is it me, just me? Or does it look like this move that the guy's doing? He's like ready to like tomahawk chop her into the ground. And I was waiting for it. I, the daughter would have been traumatized, but I wasn't sure. Look, look at the face. Look, look. What? <laughs> she was just like, what? It's I'm hoping this isn't like an I want to be an acrobat thing because I couldn't handle her flying through the air. But it's not going to work for me. I need to see if these guys can come to my house because I got some spots up in the ceiling near the fans and stuff that I just can never get to the dust. I bet you they'd be really helpful with that. Later on in the video, you're going to see Drew and I we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do this entire uh, routine on the side in Canada. It goes pretty well. There might be a hiccup or two, but stay tuned. And I bet you're expecting like, I'm the one lifting Drew. No, that's not it. He does all the lifting. It's, it just worked out better that way. All joking aside, these acrobats were crazy good. It was a really fun show to watch. It was called Art Defying Gravity. I suggest you check it out if you do go to Festival of the Arts. They're pretty damn amazing. This is the figment mural. You can actually go ahead and paint a square of it. You go ahead and get some paint. They tell you which squares to paint and what color. And by the time the festival's done, this whole thing will be painted. Dad got number one. 
And they told me I got to go high. Oh, I see the high stuff. There we go. So high number one there. High some number ones. Let's see if there's any others down here with the ladies here. Oh, yes, some more here. And what do we got? Number twos for her. Oh, you've got a... The wife got a special one. You got a number two. Where's a number two? Oh, look at this. All right, kiddo. Now you have to paint only the ones. You get to paint three squares that say number two. Wait, Elle, you got to find the one that says two. Over here, his face. So you can paint three squares that say number two on them, okay? One or two. Try not to get it on you. Three squares. Try to paint nicely inside the square. Good job. Doing pretty good there. All right. Where'd it go? I lost it already. There you go, baby. So they gave me the high stuff because I'm tall. So I got to find number one up top. Oh, there they are. I got them. So there are dads. And I got a postcard, Figment postcard for making my painting. Pretty cool. Festival of the Arts. What's up, everybody? Dad fashions himself as a little bit of an artist. I actually went to art school as a youngster. And I'm a graphic designer and a designer by trade. So the Festival of the Arts is actually really cool to me. I'm looking forward to this. I am meeting a friend here who should be here any moment. And then we're going to go do the Festival of the Arts World Food Challenge thingamababa thing a jumper sucker thing. I don't know what you call it, but I'm going to call it that. Hashtag world challenge hashtag thingamababa junker thing, thing. Dot, Yeah, that one. So let's go find out what's going on here at the 2020 Epcot Festival of the Arts. Stay tuned for part two where two grown men act like children. Just started up. Oh, gotta do the stroll. Deep, deep stroll in to go get, what are we getting, Dad? To attempt a challenge that no one has ever done before because they made it up. Festival of the Arts has some sort of food challenge Epcot-y passport thing. Hashtag food challenge Epcot passport thing. I like it. Yes, we're coining that term, that's ours now. Right now, we're doing it right, right now. now. For more dad adventures, Go to youtube.com slash dad got this. Be sure to like, subscribe, and hit the damn bell. Come on, you have to do it. It was a double dog dare. I mean, those are the rules.